Hello everyone, I'm Jason Crispin of JC's Organic Farming and today I am constructing my chicken tractor. And uh, I went with untreated lumber and the reason for that is, is in my mind, it was better option for me to use the severe weather paint that dries. Either way, I went with severe weather paint and I did three coats on everything before even cutting the first board. So, uh, I want to go over here a little bit how I'm constructing this because I want it to be able, I want to be able to take this apart and stack the walls up come winter and uh, not leave it out in our Ohio winters. So, basically what I did is I constructed two sides just like this, like you would a, a wall for a house using the two by fours up as uprights on each end and I probably need to still throw one in the middle on all four sides. So keep that in mind. And then, so this side and that side over there would be exactly the same. And then this piece with the fence on it and this piece up here on the bed of my truck that I'm working on, you can see the ends are done a little bit different. I took the two by four and this two by four and ran it the other way and then put the support for the seal and the top plate. And the reason for that is, is I want to be able to bolt it together, just like so. That's why you see the numbers on there and the number two down there. So I'll be able to take the bolts out, which I just picked up this morning. They're uh, four inch bolts. I got lock washers, washers, I got the whole fix and the whole works. And then, uh, as you can see, I went with heavier wire than chicken wire because we've got a lot of predators on the farm and I don't want to risk uh, losing any poultry due to foxes, coons, coyotes, whatever it might be. I see them all, all the time and I don't want to have any trouble. So I went with this, I believe it's 16 gauge and they're one inch square holes. I'm buying it in 15 foot sections. This chicken tractor is 10 by 10. And here's how the other side is. And they're not lined up now because I've just got them leaning there. Uh, as far as the staples, I'm not using regular staples because of the predators there once again. I went on Amazon and bought these real cheap. Uh, they're 500 staples in a container. And they're electrical staples. So I'm getting a lot better hold than I would with any staple gun staple. Unless it's a pneumatic stapler, I guess. I get some pretty heavy staples for them, but it's coming along. So Okay, so let me get you up to date here since this morning. Um, I've got all the fence on all the way around. Um, I've got my bolts in. There would be the head in there, and here's the outside. Um, on the inside of the cage to use as a feeder I had a piece of uh, downspouting or gutter so I uh, went ahead and tacked it up there and it does have one of the drops in it for the downspout I'm just going to cover that off with a piece of uh, metal and some pop rivets um, up here on the top which you can see here up here in the front, this area is where our lids will be. And then back here, uh, I came up with some bracing. I had some old uh, patio equipment, I guess. It was a little awning type deal. And I'm going to use the metal bars from that since the awning tore. And I've anchored them down on there for bracing for the fence to go across since they're kind of light. Um, as far as my wheels, a lot of people have resorted to using this new design that somebody's came up with where you use the lever, which raises it. You can see it come up and drop back down. I need to get nuts for the wheels there. That's why that one's not tight. Uh, I've got them mounted on, which is very simple. Um, to look at it from the back side here, basically you've got a bolt that goes through the wheel. And then there's another bolt just a couple inches above that. And that's just a leg bolt there that goes through and goes into this 2x4. Which gives you this pivoting motion that raises it. Um, 
besides that, and this is taking a while to come up with all this stuff because I'm getting to the point now where it's it's not planned out very well in my head, so I've got to think about each thing. But uh, that brings us up to about where we are right now. I was hoping to have my turkeys in here today just to try it out, but not having the, the top closed in yet, I'm not sure that I'm going to make it today. Maybe tomorrow. Well, I've still got a few things left to do to the tractor, but I went ahead and threw the birds in there. <laughs> got a pretty stormy afternoon ahead of them, so it ought to be interesting. Now on the back side, the side my weather comes from, I did go ahead and put some vinyl siding on there. And these here are soffit panels in the middle. They're perforated so air can blow through. You can see I did it all the way across. Except for a little spot right there. Even did some on this side. So now we got to get them some water and some food. And then we're going to cover them up because it's sprinkling now. Mm -hmm. 